So when that wave forgets who it really is, when it when that wave forgets that actually on the deepest level it is inseparable from the ocean, but when the wave forgets who it is, it starts looking for the ocean. And this is what every human being is is doing on the deepest level. We've forgotten our inseparability from the ocean. We've forgotten our inseparability from life itself. We've forgotten that the ocean actually is is already here. It's already contained in and as our present experience. So it's when we forget that the the ocean is already here, we start looking for the ocean. So the wave starts looking for the ocean. So the wave runs around the ocean, desperately trying to find the ocean. And the wave asks, where is the ocean? When will I find the ocean? So now time comes into it. When the ocean forgets who it really is, it needs time. When we forget who we really are, we become seekers. We start seeking the ocean. We start seeking completeness. We start seeking wholeness. We start seeking oneness in the future. We become seekers of wholeness, seekers of completeness. So now we try to complete ourselves in time. We forget the ever-present completeness of who we really are. But who we really are as the ocean is always complete. And that completeness is expressing itself right now as these thoughts, these sensations, these feelings, these sounds. The completeness actually is expressing itself as this moment. The completeness that we've always been seeking. The wholeness that we've always been seeking. The oneness that we've always been seeking. The fulfillment that we've always been seeking is actually already here, expressing itself in and as this present experience. It's like oneness hides in the most unexpected place, which is here and now, the last place you'd ever look for it. <laughs>